Hey guys, so I just want to do a little video today on uh, the fingerlings. If you're a mom, you've probably heard about it because your kids are asking you for it for Christmas. Now, these little guys, they come, like there's different ones, like monkeys and a unicorn. and um, So I think they're like $20 retail plus tax. Um, and that's how much they're supposed to be worth. Basically, these little bad boys... Uh, their eyes open and close, their heads turn, and they make noise. So, I guess people are buying them, and uh, I think some stores even have like a two toy maximum. So if you have three kids that want them, you're screwed because you can't get that. Because some people are buying them, like dozens at a time, and they're selling them on uh, like Facebook bidding wars and Craigslist and such. Um, for m more than what they're worth. They're a pretty hot toy. They're kind of similar to um, the Furbies. I am guess I'm aging myself a lot right now. But if you grew up in, in that kind of time, you remember that the Furbies, they, their mouth opened, their eyes opened, and they made noise and stuff. And so um, these little fingerling guys are, are pretty hot this year. Um, just be careful that you get... Oh, and the Unicorn one is exclusive to Toys R Us, which I didn't realize, um, which is why I don't have it right now. So anyways, um, make sure you don't get a knockoff one because I've also got a knockoff to show you as well. Um, this little guy, you can see his eyes actually don't open. His head doesn't move. He doesn't take batteries at all. There's no place to turn him on or... To put batteries in um also another indicator is that he doesn't have hair like real fur real hair like these guys do real hair um and they might come in like a cheaper packaging as well uh but just be really careful that when you are searching for one of these um you get the right kind because if you're a kid that that's looking for like the authentic fingerling that turns his head and opens and closes his eyes and makes noise, they might be really disappointed when they get something like this. So, um, but I mean, this is not totally useless. Uh, you, you may have um, w one child that is the age on this is five and up that might be decent with their toys and take good care of it. Um, you might have a five-year-old that loves her fingerling and has a real one and then you might have uh, a child that has a sibling that's like maybe two and really destructive like my sibling or like my child um, and so this might actually come in handy if if your other child likes to play rough with toys um, this is kind of like way more difficult to, to break or to drop and um, so yeah I just that's my experience with the fingerlings um, you can get knockoffs you can even pay a lot for a knockoff, so be careful with that. Um, that sucks big time. Uh, so make sure that you're careful when purchasing one. Um, I mean, you could even purchase something like this. I bought this one um, for seven bucks, but from Bidding Wars, but they were very clear to say that it's not authentic. So I actually went out and I purchased it anyways because now I'm curious. I'm like, what does this thing do? It does. Is it actually a good replica or not? So be careful when purchasing them because if you're wanting something like this and you get something like this, you might be disappointed or your child might be disappointed. Okay, bye.